So, well, let's say you have your camera plugged into your computer. And as I said, you don't have to turn the camera on. Put the USB cable into the camera and into your computer. And then go to your Mac and open the software image capture. This image capture thing here is in your applications folder. Do you know how to get there? You go applications and then it takes you there and then in there you pick this icon double click it and then you end up here in image capture now let me plug in my camera I didn't plug it in yet but you can do it either you have it plugged in or you plug it in later um, it will import all your pictures into the folder here but you can make your own folder a new folder by going in here and saying other so you can't see this on the screen now, it's outside your screen, okay. But, so there is a setting here where it is uh, other, and then you can make your own folder, right? You also can make a subfolder per camera. If you have more than one camera, they all show up different. You can also drag and drop. For example, if you put a new folder here, and call this folder my 360 pictures. For example, you can make another folder my 360 videos. So if you want that separate, then you can go in here and drag and drop. So let's see if we have a movie. It's all JPEG, 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 JPEG. Looks like I don't have a movie in here. But if you would have a movie, same thing would happen, right? So, let's say I want from here... I want everything. Everything I want in my pictures folder. 89 pictures. So it will now go through and import all those pictures. And it puts a check mark on there. So if I scroll fast enough... So when it's done importing, it makes this little green check mark on here. I blurred this out on the side here, or I removed my location, because it will also give you the location where you took the picture. Then the picture size, width and height, and then how much memory it needs. Um, in the moment, we do not delete the pictures from the camera. If you want that, so if you want to move the picture from the camera to your folder, you would select here this checkbox. And then that is going to happen. Um, you can delete if you want to delete ones. Like if you want to delete this one and this one, you can push the delete button. And it will delete it from the camera. And it's gone forever. Um, <coughs> other than that, you can make your own folder where you import in your folder. And then you get this little check mark once it's in there. So it won't import again. So those pictures are all imported. And, yeah, so there is not much to it. Read the manual for this software. Image capture help. And this is very easy, this tool. It also works with your iPhone or whatever other device you have. With a scanner, if you want to scan something, you would use this tool. Good tool. I can only recommend it.